Hey, what's going on everyone? Willis here. We're back with another Destiny 2 video. I'm still giving away the emblem on screen, so if you'd like a chance to enter that giveaway, just leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below. You don't have to do this stuff. It's literally if you just want to support the video. Winners are normally announced at the end of the month in my Discord as well, so make sure you're in Discord, discord.gg slash Willis. In this video, guys, I want to show you guys a quick farm you can actually do this week. If you're looking for legendary shards, maybe enhancement cores, this is a farm you definitely want to do over the weekend. Obviously, it's going to go away at a reset, but we're in the Leviathan today. So before we jump in to today's video, a quick word from our sponsor. So a quick word from Blazing Boosts, our sponsor. If you guys are looking for help with anything in Destiny, Blazing Boosts is it. With over 7,000 reviews on Trustpilot, they are fully legit and I can vouch for them. What's different about Blazing Boosts is they do not hire cheaters or anything of that nature. They are fully committed to each customer. So yeah, use my link in the video description, guys, for the best prices. But yeah, without the way, guys, obviously it's dogs this week, and it's probably one of the best weeks you can actually farm dogs, mainly because obviously it's the first one in the rotation, and you can get to it extremely fast. What I'm gonna do is include on screen a quick little route you can take to essentially skip straight to dogs. Obviously, the encounter itself is super easy. There are tons of guides. Honestly, I could explain it and take like ages, but you essentially just go in, find a dog and just kill it. Obviously, everybody gets assigned a dog. You want to be running swords with oppressive darkness grenades. What our team likes to do is we pretty much just assign a dog to everybody. We get one damage buff using the plants and we just go out, kill the dogs and we get a bunch of loot at the end. If you want extra rewards from doing this, make sure you're running the Contender Shell. It will sometimes give you an extra chance to get a year one exotic, which you have missed. This Contender Shell comes from actually completing the Leviathan. It has a chance to drop from the end chest. So if you want to make the most out of this, try and go farm the Contender Shell first. Bungie did nerf it to where you pretty much won't be able to get an exotic every time. The drop chances were super high before. It is a bit lower, I've noticed, but this is super good if you are low on legendary shards. Or maybe you just need some enhancement cores as curated rolls will still drop from this. I got a few to drop in the few runs that I did. You can then dismantle those for enhancement cores. But yeah, this is by far the number one thing you want to be farming this week, apart from Iron Banner as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.